All right, what's going on guys? So Sonos have released new speakers and here with me today, I have the Aero 100 and the Aero 300. And I can't wait to see how these things sound. It's gonna be my first impression and unboxing experience. But you know what sounds better than these speakers? Our sponsor for today, Nobody. Now, let's go ahead and get the Aero 100 set up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this tab off. And I will also give you guys a better unboxing experience. Let me bring it closer. And as you can see here, it says, let's get started. Um, gonna ahead and pull this out here. Setup process, it's gonna be pretty simple. It says connect the power cord, download the app, at a glance, yada, yada, yada. Let's just get the speaker out of here. Uh, that's pretty much it that comes in the box, I think. Now we have the power cable at the very bottom. Everything else, recycle. Oh, I do like this. This is a nice touch, adding Sonos here on the top. Anyway, let's go ahead and give this a nice smell. I mean, it's Sonos. They're at the top of their game. They smell amazing. I've got to say, Sonos, it's nice that no matter what direction it is, your product or your logo is always the same. I think that's a pretty cool touch. Um, as you can see here, we have capacitive touch to do the volume down and volume up. We can go back, play pause, go forward. On the bottom here, we have our power adapter. It looks like, unfortunately, Sonos has done away with ethernet. We also have the ability to switch off the assistant here. We have the Bluetooth button at the top and a USB-C charging port as well. Um, maybe you can use this dongle for ethernet, not sure. Let me go ahead and check the instructions here. All right, let's get this plugged in here and we can go ahead and plug this in. Conveniently, I will put the HomePod to the side. All right, so for this setup process, I'm going to use an iPhone, even though my main phone is an Android right now. So that's why you see SOS at the top, but I'm going to select set up a new system. God, I have to put my email, are you kidding me? All right, so I'm in the app, and as you guys can see here, I already got a notification popped up for the Era 100 that's behind me. I'm gonna click Add, Continue, OK. It says, getting your Era 100 ready. Next, your Era 100 will chime and play an audio pin to temporarily connect your mobile device to it. Hit Continue. All right, now, one thing I do wanna mention is the price. So, so I believe, wow, this is the wrong network for one. All right, so the Aero 100 is connecting now, and I wanted to say before that this retails at 249, which is a little bit higher than the previous generation of the regular Sonos Ones. Um, I am trying to connect to my Wi-Fi, but it doesn't look like it's having a good time connecting to it. This always seems to happen with Sonos products. I will just use this temporary network that I have on my Wi-Fi. Not ideal, but whatever. I must be the only person on YouTube who sets up a Sonos and has a problem with the setup process. It's always seamless for everyone else, but I always have problems and I don't know why. What if my router supports both 2.5 gigahertz and five gigahertz? We recommend splitting up the two bands and naming them differently in your router settings. This will help avoid connections or sign in problems during setup. Okay, whatever. So before I go down the path of disabling my five gigahertz band, what I'm going to do now is try to set this up on my Android device. All right, so similar to iPhone, I have the pop-up notification here to add the Aero 100. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add, continue. All right, it's connecting to my Aero. Why does it always connect to that Wi-Fi? I find that kind of strange, but whatever. What if I unplug it and plug it back in, what happens? How do I reset an Aero 100? Okay, then it is now showing green. So I'm going to try to add the Aero 100 once again. It says your Aero 100 has been added but may not appear in the system tab. If so, unplug the power cord and plug it back in to finish setup from the system tab. Okay. My system tab is just non-existent. Let me check on my iPhone what's going on. I can't even select the system tab, so I guess I unplug it. 
plug it back in. So the Sonos app is opened fresh and I still can't select anything and I have no idea what this thing is connected to. Did you change your router or network settings or unplug an ethernet cable from the Sonos? No. Let's find your missing products. Make sure they're plugged in or powered on before you continue. This is so stupid. Sonos not found. Make sure you're signed in. What? I'm genuinely mind blown. I was going to talk about how much I was having problems with the HomePod, even though it sounds great. But honestly, both of these products kind of suck. Sonos not found. What are you talking about? Since Sonos makes products with Wi-Fi cards that are from 2002, I just went ahead and disabled my five gigahertz band. So hopefully that should fix everything. If it doesn't, I'm returning these things because I generally don't have time to troubleshoot a Sonos product. I've been troubleshooting this for so long, my lasagna is done cooking. Okay, here's my first complaint with Sonos, and I'm not even on the air of 300, by the way. Why is it connecting to a Wi-Fi network that isn't even specified? It's just assuming that the strongest Wi-Fi network is the one that it should connect to, but this is not my Wi-Fi network. So before it tries to connect to a Wi-Fi or Ethernet, I mean, Ethernet's pretty much automatic, allow the user to choose what Wi-Fi network the Sonos should connect to. That would make the setup process 10 times easier. I get it, you're trying to do a seamless thing, but you should really try to allow the user to do what they want to do to make the process easier. Now, it says your mobile device is currently connected to a different Wi-Fi network, uh, you know, the main network right now. Your error 100 is on a different network. Do you want to continue? It says continue change mobile device network. First of all, those options are stupid. In your Android settings, change your mobile network to the random one it decided to connect to so we can find your error 100. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it says your mobile device is currently connected to the Wi-Fi it just told me to get on, and now that my error 100 on a different one. What am I supposed to do? I'm just gonna hit continue. This is the dumbest setup process for speakers I've ever seen. I don't care what Sonos products you own. I know people, I don't know how people own more than 10, but I generally don't know what I'm doing wrong, right? I'm connected to a Wi-Fi. I open the app. It prompts me to add it. I hit add. It randomly connects to the strongest signal, which isn't my Wi-Fi network, and it's telling me to switch to it. Thankfully, it's still a network in my home, I connect to it and then the app is telling me, hey, actually go back to the, your main one that you were connected to before. Just allow me to pick my Wi-Fi network for the Air 100 or any Sonos product. All right, so after that whole rant, it says my Air 100 has been added but may not appear in the settings tab. If so, unplug the power cord, plug it back in to finish setup from the systems tab. I go here. We're, we're in the same situation, Sonos, as I was like 10, 15 minutes ago. People genuinely think I joke when I say, hey, I'm sponsored by nobody, but God forbid Sonos sent me these products and I email them that their product setup sucks. And they're like, you know what? Send them back. Don't make a video on it anymore. But guess what, Sonos? I'm gonna let you know that this setup process sucks. I cannot be the only one facing this issue. Sonos can't be found. You know what? Screw this thing. I'm not even gonna have a fancy unboxing of the Air 300 at this point. I just want this video to be over. So, you know, wanna know what it smells like? It smells pretty good. I'm not gonna let that slide. This thing smells pretty good. Okay, get this off. What is this? There's no, there's still no ethernet. That's great. Okay, whatever, the Sonos 100 is, trash product. I can't connect to it no matter what I do. Let me actually go back to the iPhone here. Let me select my product. Searching for nearby products, make sure they're powered on. 
Era 300, would you look at that? Let's hit the add button. Getting your Era 300 ready. Okay, it's gonna do a pin. All right, so here's one discrepancy I already have right now. So on Android, it doesn't allow me to select my network, but on iPhone, it allows me to do that. So, all right, it says a new Sonos product has joined on my Eero product or application. So it connected to it. Now, some people might say I'm being a little too aggressive or a little impatient. Um, I'm only this upset because from my previous Sonos unboxing and first impression, I had a horrible time, almost spent 30 minutes to an hour trying to set up my subwoofer and it just wouldn't connect unless I reset it like 10 times and then it just randomly decided to work. So that video is still transpiring into this video here. So uh, not sorry. How much do you want to bet for this Air 300 setup process? It's going to say to finish the process unplug and plug in your power cord and it might show up in the settings or the systems tab. How much you want to bet? There it is again. Let me go to uh, my Eero app on my Android here and see what's going on. What I say, your error has been added but may not appear in the system tab. If so, unplug the power cord, plug it back in to finish the setup from the system tab. Well, guess what, Sonos? The system tab is grayed out. Move. The system tab is grayed out. So how am I supposed to... Oh, wait. So guess I unplugged this, right? Matter of fact, let me plug this one too. And let me plug them both in. Now, if I go into my Wi-Fi settings here, you will see that there are two Sonos products I don't know why they want to connect to the guest network, but they're there on the 2.4 gigahertz band because that's the only thing that they can connect to. Go figure. All right, so I'm going to do something I've never done on this channel before, and um, this video is going to go up the way it is. This is my first impressions of the Sonos Air 300 and 100. I'm sorry that I cannot give you guys an actual first impressions of how it sounds like because the setup process is just horrendous. If you have a different experience setting up Sonos and there's something that I'm doing wrong, please let me know. Or if you work at Sonos and you want to reach out to me and help me set this up, please let me know. I'm also going to email Sonos customer support as well and try to get someone on the phone because for some reason, the Sonos One, the Arc, the Sub, the 100, and now the 300 have all given me problems trying to connect to my network. I've disabled my five gigahertz band. I don't have an ethernet jack to plug into now, although I have to buy an adapter that I have to go out of my way to pay an adapter for, so um, no. And I just don't understand how Sonos can and their fan base can claim that they are an amazing wireless solution when whenever it comes to setting up their products, I have problems every single time. So that's my first impressions of Sonos, Air 300 and 100. Would I go out and buy this with my own money as of now? Absolutely not. If you watch another YouTuber and they don't have the setup process and they just talk about how, how great the speakers sound, kudos to them. I'm sure this thing sounds amazing, but people should share their setup process experience with Sonos because it sucks. Five out of five times, I've had a horrible experience and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Once again, I'm just following the prompts, right? I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network on the iPhone. It allows me to choose my network. I select both networks, type in the right password, doesn't work. On Android, for some reason, it just connects to whatever signal it decides to connect to, and then I have to switch to it, and when I do, it still says, hey, by the way, the setup process finished, not really, so you're gonna have to unplug it, plug it back in, and it might show up in your settings or systems tab, it's not there. So if I had to rate this product as of now, it's a zero out of 10. A product that costs 250 bucks should not be this, it shouldn't be that hard to set up. And that is where I will actually say the HomePod comes out on top. If you have, this is why the Apple ecosystem is the way it is. It's a seamless process. I literally hover, oh, I hover over my iPhone and the HomePod connects. Sonos, I don't know what you guys are doing. 
I don't know what you guys are doing. Let me close the app, connect to it again, see what happens. Guarantee you, it's not going to be there. What do you know? It's not there. Um, anyway, guys, I'm sorry that I am leaving this video off on this note. Maybe if I ever get this to work, I will have a proper review and comparison compared to the HomePod because that's what I really wanted to compare it to. Um, but this is stupid. Worst setup process ever. Like I said before, if you have the Aero 100, 300, and you have a seamless, seamless Wi-Fi setup process um, that worked for you, please let me know down in the comments below. I'll be happy to talk to you down in the comments. Um, but as of now, trash. I'm done. I appreciate every single sub like and comment. I'm gonna go eat my lasagna because this thing has taken way too long and I'm out, peace.